Zet or right Kunja and Put? Usha, Pusha, put names and name where you from? I'm Simvillem Kuetli in Denville. Okay, uh, what are your feelings about the current uh, political climate in South Africa? We are now effectively within 50 days of the elections. Have you made your choice? I yeah, have long decided, long yeah. five years ago. You know. Mm. So the decision, is it based on what you know works or what you know should change how things work? What I know should change on how things work. Okay. Who are you voting for? I'm voting EFF. EFF. What made you uh, go for a 10-year-old party? That 10-year-old, to me, you can equate it to 100 years of existence. Looking at their policy position, things that will require South Africans, for example, their stance on land question, something that no party except the PAC, that is always holding like strong views that for African people, for them to prosper, they require land. What do you think about the mushrooming parties, those who are in particular funded by what we would call white monopoly capital, you would call them Action SA, Bosa, Rais Mzanzi, uh, and, 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 and the rest. Do you cloud them in one thing? Do you see them as one thing? Yeah, they are just one thing. Uh, if I were to be uh, straight, they are just an impingement on what uh, we blacks want to achieve. Those are just hired political parties because I believe that if those funders of theirs, the whites, the white white guys who are giving them money, if they cared, they don't require to finance political parties. They know what to do. They must give access to Africans into the economy of the country. So where we are because those whites, they don't want to give access. So what makes one believe that now if uh, your, your, your Stellenbosch guys, they are giving this political party money, they will then open up the economy. The problem with us, it's the access to the resources of the country, nothing more. We don't require a lot of views. The political parties that are there, if it was up to me, we are supposed not to have more than three or four parties. Uh, currently, the ANC is doing door to door. At your back there, there's a gazebo. <coughs> Case, you are at your gate, you are watering your lawn. Three ANC people come and they tell you to vote. What's your answer? I will tell them that I'm voting, but not for you. <laughs> and then they say, Please vote. Uh, what is it that bothers you in South Africa that you think we can fix? What would you tell them that this is the area that you have failed? Uh, and in, in, in there are basic things. They've failed like on basics. One biggest problem that, that came into the ANC, I'm not sure whether it, had, it has always been like that now, before 1994. They don't have pride. They don't have shame. Uh, they don't have vision. Why am I saying that? I would give you like an example with post office. Today I went to the post office, I wanted to renew my car disk, the license for the car. The post office, it didn't have power. Why? The power, instead of I switched off the power, I moved to the nearby post office. It was closed, like house to let. While now I'm listening on radio, 27 post offices have been closed in Limbobo. Like those, that, that institution. Only two left in Pulukwan. I was not aware. The whole province, 27 post office branches are closed, only two left in Pulukwan, and that's in, in Ivana. So if they had a sheer of a shame, they wouldn't allow post office to collapse. Those are the things that are pride of the nation. Do you not think it's deliberate? It, it is. It, it is because, they, hence I said, they don't have a vision. For them to create uh, access for themselves into resources, they must collapse what is existing. Because they've been into a business of collapsing everything that is into existence. So if they had a bit of a vision and a foresight, you don't need to collapse post office. You can expand post office. Post office is supposed to be a big institution that can compete like your FNB, like any other commercial bank. But because they are conflicted in the process, some of them, they happen to have shares in the net bank. So now for net bank, for example, to thrive, post office must die. Do, do you get me? If I get you very well. If you've got shares in PostNet, then how does PostNet thrive? It means post office must collapse. You want to sell electricity privately, what do you do? ESCO must collapse. Like the list is endless. If you want to ferry goods from here to the harbors in KwaZulu Natal and the, the, the Western Cape, what do you do? You collapse the cheaper method, which is the railway. So, so that your trucks can get on the roads. So I don't think all South Africans are stupid. Some South Africans are not fools. 
Forbes, they can see through what they are doing. Hence, I'm saying they can't get my vote. They have never got one for that matter. You are, you are dishing superior logic uh, 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 fighter. So, I'm going to give you five parties. You give me projections. Okay. MK, projection for national vote percentage nationally. MK? 10-12. 10-12. EFF? Uh, 25. 25% and above. DA? Uh, DA below 20%. Between 15, 15 and 20. Rise, Mzanzi? I don't see them getting anything. Okay, the last one. Just for, for, just for closing. PAC? Uh, maybe... Two, seat, two, three seats. I don't know how much percentage would that be. Thank you very much, Fight. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs>